Hey up everybody, how the devil are we all doing? It's TNG, and in this video we're going underground and we're building a secret bar in between these two houses here. Simply, simply lovely. And the location is here in Flatwoods. Just look for the two houses with a destroyed truck in front of it and try and get your camp module right up against the cliff face at the back. Right then, let's get going, shall we? So above the ground, there's not going to be any significant structures. We're just doing what's basically got to be a shed and we're just going to put down two foundations and line them up with this house as best we can. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it's not extremely gappy. Once you've thrown down your foundations just go around and put some walls down and make sure that they can be placed this is the time where you want to you know rearrange your build not halfway through it because it'll be a pain in the ass also make sure you can get some slopey boys in as well i.e angle roofs because we want this building to look like it's part of the house you know like a little storage shed or some shit now once you've confirmed that your walls and roofs will actually go down then just delete them i know that seems a little counterproductive but trust me it's better to do all that and know that everything fits rather than having to come back halfway through your build because you've fucked up and trust me like i said before if you have to do that it will be an absolute kick in the penis anyway moving on swiftly on this rear foundation that's you know towards the back of the house hence the name rear foundation we're just going to snap some stairs to the side of it now you're not going to be able to use them or go down them but that doesn't matter you'll see what they for later obviously we need to you know go underground don't we considering this is an underground camp and the way we're going to do that is by using the symptomatic there's lots of methods but this is the one that i find easiest just place down the symptomatic on top of a rug. I like to use the welcome mats or this little neoprene thing here. Yeah, grab the mat which will bring the symptomatic with it and place it down on one of the steps of a staircase. Beautiful. We can then snap that staircase to the back side of the foundation and lo and behold, we've got a method of going underground. This isn't the final way that we're going to use to enter and exit our camp. Oh no, we've got something far more spicy for that. Once we've interacted with our symptomatic and, you know, gone under the mat, we're going to delete the symptomatic and the rug and we're just going to build down another set of stairs remember that useless set of stairs we built before yeah of course you do we're now going to build floors until we get to them once we're in the vicinity of them we're then going to attach another set of stairs to them i know that i'm saying stairs a lot but there's no other way i can describe them or maybe there is level defeaters there we go all i'm doing here now is putting down floors now you can make this as big or as small as you want it to be in this situation size does not matter although i'm not sure if that statement rings true in real life no i'm extremely sure about it but either way once you put your floors down you can delete the stairs that we initially put down to get under the map. Beautiful. As you can see, we've returned to the above world and it's a simple case of just jumping up through the terrain. And now we're going to sink a symptomatic into a foundation to make our more exotic entrance. Just make sure when you put down your foundation that it sits like this. It's not sitting in the middle of it because you're not going to have enough room to get out if it is sitting in the middle. Don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah. To merge this into the foundation, we're going to have to use the terrain. We can't use a pressure plate, obviously. And there's no easy way to explain how to do this, but you're going to need to find some terrain that allows the foundation to sink in it usually rough ground or a slight hill or incline will do it and you're just going to want to drag the foundation towards you and then drop it and just keep repeating it i'll try and find a video that shows how to do that somewhere on the world of youtube and if i do i'll leave a floaty card in top corner once you've managed to sink it you can get that foundation and drag it over to where we were building before and you want it so the doors are facing to the back of the house so you can leave and you know enter our subterranean little pub thing we've got going down now we can start walling off our pub area you can use any walls that you want doesn't bloody matter i'm going to be wallpapering mine so let's just use the buddy mistress and mystery set and it's just a case of going round and putting down walls it's quite self-explanatory i don't think that i have to show you this there is going to be a little bit which is slightly more complicated but we'll get to that in a second there we go that's all our walls up and the beautiful thing is behind them we've got that little area where the hidden stairs are we can put a generator on there and you know i've run wires around the build so we actually we have power now it's just a case of putting some roofs on which is quite self-explanatory and then we're just going to make the entrance way a little bit nicer mm -hmm. yep simply simply lovely let's just plaster them roofs down absolutely fantastic for our entrance way here i want to make it a little bit more well fancy and it's a really simple thing that we're going to do we're going to put down some half walls with some top arches and make a sloping roof it's as simple as that now you will be able to see this roof on the outside of your build but to be honest with you it doesn't look too bad it looks like the entrance to a basement which is nice i guess yeah brilliant just throw another flat roof in there beautiful for some reason i've got an incredible urge to put in a stained glass window because you can't beat the view of soil can you so we're going to delete our stairs we're going to put in a doorway doesn't matter what door it is delete our roof piece with which we just put in counterproductive as ever put down our little stained glass window delete the doorway from underneath it and a press door we've got ourselves a perfect view of compacted soil simply simply lovely and just to give you some idea of the effect that you're going to get with this little 
little entrance way. I've just thrown some wallpaper in. Doesn't look half bad, that, does it? Now for the power situation. Behind our stairs, I've put down an extra foundation, and in here, we're just going to throw down a generator. Again, the Vault Tech one is absolutely brilliant. No noise, no smoke. Absolutely fantastic. We can then change this wall into a doorway, and this is where our hidden stairs are. Mm-hmm. Yep, simply, simply lovely. And we can just stick conduits on the side of our build, and then run wires through that doorway to the generator. Easy as that. And of course, because it's underground, no bug is ever going to see this, so it can look absolutely terrible, and it won't matter. Beautiful. Now in the main room here, I've just thrown down some brick wallpaper. Again, give you some idea of what it could look like. And of course, we've got to discuss exiting the camp, haven't we? Obviously, we can't just jump through the terrain anymore because we've got a roof on our camp. So just create a doorway anyway in your build and fall. And honestly, this is more reliable than fast traveling. It works every time and you will actually get to where you want to go above ground. The last thing we've got to do is make our little shed thing at the side, haven't we? So we're just going to put in walls like we did before. You know, the ones that I said do and then delete immediately after. Yeah, that's the ones. And this is really, really simple, guys. You literally just build in a box effectively with some top arches on it. At the front here, I am using the catwalks to double wall. It's about the only thing they're useful for at the moment after that art fix. Thank you very much, Bethesda. Just ignore the other bugs in the game, but fix things that don't need fixing. Absolutely fantastic. Anyhow, as you can see here, I'm double walling some top arches. The way to do this is to get a brick top arch, destroy it with a flamethrower trap, and then you can put any form of top arch over the top of that. And that's just so we can get that white line of the contemporary set to match in with the house because I double walled it, it'd be facing the wrong way and you wouldn't see that. Does that make any sense? No? Good. Fantastic. Just throw some wallpaper on at front. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that's a close match to this house texture here. But we have got these bricks here that are a close-ish colour. So yeah, we'll go with them. The rest of it, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave it on to those set. Anyway, I'll cut away to some footage of this thing decorated and I'll catch you in a second. There you go. Jobs are good. And there's been no trickery or merges used decorating it. It's just a case of choosing what you want to put down and placing it down. It's quite simple, to be honest with you. Anyhow, guys, that's it from me. If you did like the video, hit that like button. Let me know I'm doing a half-decent job. And if you want to see more weekly Fallout 76 content, consider subscribing too.